Hello guys and welcome back to another player view on the channel. Today we've got the most expensive player I've reviewed in the whole of EAFC 24 and it is Vinny Jr. who, if you haven't already known, we managed to pack in one of the store packs, the big one where you get a nice free plus team of the season. Um, so yeah, absolutely insane. One of the best in the promo, one of the most expensive cards on the game, 6.6 .6 million coins. And yeah, we're going to review them today for you guys. But if you do need coins, then check out our sponsor, u7buy.com. Are you tired of coming up against insane teams like mine and you would like to buy the top players and top packs on the game? Then check out our sponsor, u7buy.com, for all your FC24 coin needs. They are cheap and reliable and already offer some of the best prices out there. But if you use code JOSH97, you can get an extra 6% off at checkout. Click the link in my description below and get yourself some EAFC20. Coins. Now, Vinny Jr. looking at the card, he's got a high, high work rate. He's got five star, five star, and he's five foot nine. And as I said before, he's going for 6.6 .6 million coins. So a hell of a lot of coins on this game. He can play striker, left mid, centre forward, and left wing. So really nice, different array of positions there. He's got obviously the 99 pace, which is insane. His shooting category is absolutely stacked. And compared to his team of the uh, season, uh, team of the year moments, sorry, or nominee, whatever it was, uh, which we also do have in the club, by the way, um, his shooting is the biggest upgrade on that card, as well as having the finesse shot plus, which we'll come to in a minute. So it takes him from a winger to a striker and a goal scoring machine, I think, compared to his team of the year honourable mentions. Now, passing wise, uh, lowest, uh, obviously, 69 free kicks, not very good. Uh, low number light, but yeah, not very good. 90 vision, 87 crossing, 89 short pass, 86 long pass, and 86 curve. Dribbling wise, obviously unbelievable. 99 jelly, 90 balance, 92 reactions, 96 ball control, 98 dribbling, and 84 composure. Composure a bit on the low side there, so that could come into play with his shooting. Um, so we'll have to see how that composure does take into effect on the card. Head and accuracy is 69, so obviously not very good, but he does have a really nice jumping at 87. Stammer 97, obviously amazing. 80 strength and a, uh, 68 aggression there. Now, I have put a dead eye on him to boost up the passing and shooting. You might want to go with something that will boost up that physical um, or even that composure, uh, but I wanted to max out his shooting as much as we could. Um, play styles wise, as I mentioned, finesse shot plus, ideal, isn't it? One of the best play style pluses for an attacker on the game. My favourite, um, some may disagree, but I love an attacker with finesse shot plus. I've been using Salah, player of the month for months and months and months because of that finesse shot plus and he just bangs them in so that's a really good one he also has chip shot he has technical dribble plus which i love on a card i really do um rapid plus flair first touch i'm surprised he hasn't got trickster really surprised he hasn't got trickster uh, he has quick step plus and Traveller as well and so very nice, really nice with the playstyle pluses. It looks like an absolute monster of a card. I'm going to play him as a left centre forward in a 4-3-2-1 to start with. And we may move him into that central position um, throughout the review to see how he does perform. Um, and if you didn't already, we managed to get these two reds in our uh, rank 5 champs rewards opening which i was buzzing about rudiger and cancelo absolutely take that uh, so yeah this is the team we're gonna rock and we're gonna be using vinicius jr and see if he is worth that massive price tag of 6.6 .6 million coins so let's go into the review so here we are in match number one not sure why he's got ramsdale in net but the rest of the team pretty average if i'm honest for this uh time in the game so yeah hopefully we can do some damage with Vinny jr let's see what he can do on the pitch The overlap from Vinny. He's away. He's in. Finesse shot plus. And that was an absolute sitter from me, that. Absolute sitter for his first attempt of this game. Maybe that's the composure coming into play there and why it wasn't as accurate. Finesse shot from here. Really nice save. 
His Fnatic Troth are definitely better than that team of the uh, year honourable mentions, 100%. I think it was quite a poor finishing wise card, um, to be honest. But now, I know he's not scored yet, but it, his shooting does feel vastly improved. Lovely ball. Can we find Drogba? We don't, but we do. Uh, find Jao Cancelo here. Oh my god, there we are. Finesse Shot Plus coming into play. He absolutely banged that one. I mean, he could have had five goals in this game. He really could have. But at least that one found the back of the net. We do get Rage Quit as well. Um, he's not really got into my half, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, 1-0. Vinny Jr. with the Finesse Shot. We will absolutely take that. Let's get into another. Here we go into match number two. And that is definitely a better team. He's got the Dembele. He's got the Zero Emery. And he's got the man, the myth, the legend, DDA Drogba. So this one's going to be a lot tougher. Can we get a win? And can Vinny Jr. get some more goals? Let's find out. Lovely play. Look at that pace, guys. Absolutely smoke the defender. That's what you expect. And then a lovely finish at the end of the attack as well. Really nice. The explosiveness of the card is obviously... Not matched on the game, it really isn't. He's so quick off the mark. And to be fair, when he's off the mark as well, he's absolutely rapid, isn't he? Oh, lovely from Vinicius. He turned that defender really nicely there. Shame we couldn't get the goal to put us on level terms. We can now with Ginola. Uh, but yeah, he's been really good. Obviously, he feels so agile. It's ridiculous. So fast, it's ridiculous. But that composure, I think, is letting the card down a little bit, guys. Not going to lie when it comes to finishing. Oh, lovely from Vinicius. Absolutely brilliant. In the second half, I moved it into the main striker role out of the three. And by God, has he made a difference. Oh, my God, that goal was insane. Absolutely just took the defender out of the game with the skill move. And then with the new uh, playstyle plus of finesse shot, he's banging that in. First time finesse. <laughs> Vinny Jr. take a bow. The finesse shot plus on this card is such an upgrade. It makes his finishing so much better. 100% better. You've seen the goals he scored. That one, absolute blaster. First time finesse. Take a bow, Vinny J. What a goal. Oh, Vinny. Vinny. He is seriously keeping us in this game. I mean, that could be the winner. We keep conceding. But, what again, again, another great finish. Just a shimmy past Kunde there. Finesse shot of the near post. Blasts into the net. His finishing is, honestly, I can't tell you how much better it is compared to that uh, Team of the Year moment. Or Team of the Year not nominee, whatever it was. Oh my god, Vinicius, take a bow, absolutely ripped the defender, didn't he? Oh my god, this card, he is special, guys, no wonder he goes for so many coins, he is absolutely fantastic. Lovely ball as well from him, he has got the playmaking ability, I mean... Ginola I think clearly, but yeah, he's got the passing in his locker. He's got the finishing now in his locker, and he's absolutely rapid. Nah, no wonder he's one of the most expensive cards on the game, guys. And we do end up winning the game. Vinicius Jr. is going to pick up the match ball with six goals. Five goals, not six goals. Five goals out of the six. Absolutely unreal performance from him. The dribbling, honest to God, he can turn players inside out. You've seen him do it on occasion there. With the five-star skills, this is a special card, guys. It really is special. 
and he's a beast. He is an absolute beast. But we'll play another. Let's go into game number three. Here we go into match number three, and that is an incredible team. Messi, Vieira, Ronaldinho. It's going to be a tough one, but Vinicius won us the last game with five goals. Can he do the same in this one? Let's find out. Oh, lovely run. Oh, imagine if we'd have scored that from kickoff, guys. Shouldn't have gone with a chip, should I? I thought he was bringing his keeper off his line, but he doesn't. Look at that run from Vinicius. We do find him. It's a lovely pass, but Ricardo Carvalho is there with a foot in the way. But the run making, the positioning there was absolutely fantastic. Just can't score. Again, lovely. Technical dribble at its finest there. And again, we just can't get the finish at the moment. But he is re creating a lot of chances. He's lurking on the edge here. Get the ball to him. And he gets absolutely mugged. Lovely flick by Dino. And we get snapped in the box. We win the penalty. It's a red card. Now, can Vinny Judia get his goal? Let's find out. Come on, Vinny. Yes, he can. Beautiful. Tucked under the keeper's arm in that far right corner. Is it deserved a goal? Got absolutely snapped there. And people will try and snap him because he's just the type of card you want to get off the ball because he's so dangerous. And obviously, he puts that penalty in the back of the net as we expect. Quick feet again from Vinny and right in the top corner with that finesse shot. Honest to God, his finesse shots are lethal and so they should be. One of the best cards on the game, hands down. Absolutely no doubt about it. Probably the best card I've used this year. Obviously, I've not used like Team of the Year Harlem, people like that. Good goal by him there. But yeah, absolutely phenomenal card. So fun to use. He's got everything, lads. He really has. He held on to it really well. They're using the technical dribble. Could not find the space, though, to get in. And he's absolutely knackered here. But because we're reviewing him, I'm not taking him off. He's still got left 47 stamina left. And we are in the 105th minute. So it's not too bad. Oh, lovely. Lovely, can we? Yes, we can this time. He gets in. He punishes the defender. What a power shot that was across the goal. So he has got the finesses. He has got the power shot. And that was a weak foot as well. Brilliant play. Brilliant play. He's a match winner, this card. He really is. Oh, he wins the penalty. He just takes it round Maldini with the La... What's it called? La Croqueta, is it? Can we score this time, please? Yes, we can. Hopefully, that's the winner. Hopefully, that's the winner. Well deserved. He's won two penalties in this game. What did I say about people wanting to snap him? Honest to God, he gets snapped all the time. And you're going to get a lot of penalties with this man. He is a force to be reckoned with. We do end up winning this one 4 3, and it's all down to Vinny Jr. once again. He's going to pick up the match ball for the second time in this review with four goals, all four of them. Absolutely brilliant performance yet again from him. The dribbling, the pace. He's just such a well rounded card. Obviously, he is a bit small, don't get me wrong. Uh, so he's not the strongest in the world. The composure does let him down from time to time, but he doesn't finish everything. Um, like a Harry Kane would or a Levin, uh, Lewandowski. Lewandowski, actually. Um, I was going to say Erling Haaland would, but he is 
pretty fantastic. It's a massive upgrade with his shooting compared to his team the year on all mentions. I know I keep saying it, but the difference is unreal. It really is an, a different class, different gravy. And here we go into the final game review against the five pack with some incredible Bissett, Marquinhos and Saliba. That's going to be a tough defense to get past. I forgot to mention in the last two games, I've actually been playing him as a striker, the central striker, rather than in that first game as I played him out wide uh, on the left hand side. And to be honest, he's been obviously getting more goals as that striker. Uh, it's just the run making has been incredible. And then once he's in behind, obviously no one, and I mean no one, is catching this card. Fast play. Again, not the best finish in the world. And you're going to get that from time to time with him because of that low 84 composure. I keep saying about it, but it, it is a con with a card. Uh, definitely is a con and it has been a con on all of his other cards to be honest <laughs> but obviously with the uh, finesse shot plus and the higher shooting is a lot better finisher than his previous cards Vinicius Jr. punishes the defender there getting in between Bizek and Saliba and having the composure to finish that, that was very nice from him, wasn't it? Really nice volley. A oh, lovely play between Vinicius and Carlos there. Oh, brilliant, brilliant play. And Vinicius is going to score that to put us in front in the 85th minute. Oh my god, honest to god, he is a lifesaver, this card. He is actually unstoppable. He really is that good. So we end up winning 2-1, thanks to Vinicius Jr. in the final game. Again, brilliant performance from him. He's been incredible, hasn't he? The amount of goals he scored. But let's get on into the player summary of Vinny Jr. So here we are, my overall thoughts and opinions of this Finishes Junior card. It was fantastic. 14 games in total, 17 goals and 2 assists is a really fantastic record. Mainly playing on a left wing slash left centre forward type role. But as you've seen, he was performing extremely well for me in the striker position in the last couple of games. Scoring left, right volleys whatever he was absolutely fantastic in front of goal and no wonder he is going for so many coins because he's just an absolute goat he is one of the best cards on the game hands down so if you're lucky enough to pack him like me gg to you and if you got the coins to go buy him then go and buy and go and try him because he is absolutely jokes he really is jokes um there's not much to say about him on the bad side apart from the composure 84 as i mentioned time and time again in the review it is poor, does put him off. He doesn't score as many as you'd think because of it. Um, and it is a con with a card. Um, his passing's decent, not the best. It's decent. Um, but you're paying for the acceleration, sprint speed, agility, balance. The dribbling was just fantastic. And obviously, with the updated playstyle pluses, a finesse shot plus, unbelievable. This card needed it. It really needed it. Um, technical dribble, good, and quick step as well. Absolutely fantastic. He's a god. He's getting a 10 out of 10 for me. One of the best, if not the best card I've used this year, um, to be honest. And yeah, that's exactly why he goes for so many coins, because he is that impactful on the pitch. You send him time and time again, get me out of situations and win me the game. Um, and that's what you need from a big game player, and an expensive player. That's what you need. And Vinny Jr. is absolutely that. So go and buy him. I would recommend putting something to boost that composure up. Um, or do what I did and put a dead eye on him to boost his passing and shooting up to the max. 
Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button for me. It's greatly appreciated. If you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play views and FIFA related content. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys.